let's be realistic. Finding a free solution for your booking needs is not an easy task. In this video, I'm going to show you a free forever plan that you can grab right now. Plus, it's super easy to use. And if you need advanced features, there's a lifetime deal going on that I'll also leave the link in the description. So let's go check out Zcal. All right, so let's get started with the free forever plan that you can grab right now in the link in the description. It's not going to cost you a single cent and 99% of the features are going to be available on the free plan. Now, if you need advanced features, those will be on the paid plan, but luckily there's a lifetime deal going on in case you want the advanced features. That means that if you have team members, if you wanna have, for example, collective events, remove branding, those will be on a paid plan. But all the rest of the features will be available here, including integrations, including a way for your clients to pay for meetings via Stripe and all the features available on the free plan, okay? Now, in this case, I've created this one really quickly just to show you how it works and how it looks, but it's super easy to create it, all right? So in this case, I have available dates here that yeah, I, I can schedule. I'll select the 23rd, for example. I'll select this time. I'll add my name and email. Go ahead and schedule the meeting and we've just scheduled now i can add custom questions to this in case i just i want to ask more than just the name and the email and that's really easy to set up right now let's go into zcal right so this is my zcal dashboard and i have my main link right here that i can go to in case i want to view all the meetings that they can book so in this case i have a 30 minute meeting and a one hour meeting that they can select from so this is like the main link but i can also share links to the specific meeting types so if I know someone is going to have a meeting for 60 minutes, I'll send out the 60 minute link, right? Now to get started, what we want to do is connect our calendar, set our ability dates and hours and setting up one of these meetings, right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's go into the avatar, go to the account, go to calendars, and we'll be connecting our calendar right here. You have the option to connect your Google calendar or your Outlook calendar. It's super easy, follow the steps, sign in, accept, and you're good to go, all right? Then we have integrations. In case you want to charge for some of these meetings, go ahead and connect with Stripe. You'll get access to all these integrations without additional charges, all right? Now, to set your ability date right here, it's really easy, all right? So first off, we'll enable these and we'll click on it and we'll set the hours that we're going to be available, all right? Now, if you have time frames where you go to eat a lunch or something like that, go ahead and add an interval. So for example, I can change this to, for example, 2 p.m. and then I'll start off from 2 p.m. 3 p.m. right here. So there's a one hour lunch meeting there and that's how easy it is to create one of these intervals. You can also mark this as unavailable if you like, right? So now we have two intervals right there and you can also set specific hours for specific dates or remove dates from here, right? So if I add a specific date right here, so let's just say I'll select these dates right here and I can set a different date right there or I can mark this as unavailable. So those three will be checked off from my calendar. So if I go ahead and refresh this right here, they are now marked off. So I can't schedule these meetings anymore. So that's super easy, right? Now, how are we gonna create one of these links for the meetings? So we're gonna go into new link. I'm gonna do a one-on-one -on -one right here. I'm gonna name this, I'll just say test. It's connected to my Google Calendar in this case. You can add a location. You can add a description for this and I'll just say test. Custom URL, I'll just say meet new, all right? Let's go ahead and apply this. Then I have the design for the desktop layout. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna leave the story image video as is. I'm not, I'm not going to add one. Let's hit next. So the event duration, I have these available times or use custom. Time slot increments. So they're gonna be 30, one hour, two hours. So every two hours, there's gonna be a meeting available to schedule, right? Date ranges, 31 days into the future or not. So for example, I'll say three days into the future. So they won't be able to schedule more than three days in advance. So that gives you time for not letting them to schedule something a month from now, because you know what? Oh, I forgot I had a vacation. It's just an idea, all right? You can do custom hours here or use the ones that you have available. Let's hit next. And now we have custom questions. As I mentioned before, you got the main questions right here, which is the name and email, and we can add more here. So short text, long text, just like a form right there. So you can add the custom questions that you might need for your particular needs, right? You can show an intro, you can show on your profile page, you can go ahead and remove that or keep it. Limit max number of events, you can do so here by enabling three a day. So for example, if you know you can't handle more than five a day, then set it right here. For example, I'll set five a day. Minute notice, so six hours or days right there. For the notice, a buffer before event and buffer after event. So that means that they won't be able to schedule, for example, uh, four hours, four or four hours after. Scheduling options, email reminders. You can add more reminders here. So that person is going to be reminded one day 
and then you can set other reminders for minutes hours so for example one hour before the meeting they're going to be notified it's just super easy to set up the event name format allow guests redirect on booking this one is on the paid plan it's not on the free one so do consider that and custom right calendar also on the paid plan and also payments it's not available here because i haven't connected but it is available in the free plan all right we'll create the invite and now we have our own link right here so i can go ahead and copy this link i can go ahead and go into incognito mode go to that link and i'll be able to schedule right away so that was just created right now during this video now you can also copy the times to email and you can also embed this on a website so if you want to embed that calendar that you just watched right here on a website you can do it with zcal so it's super easy to do now as i mentioned before this is the free forever plan that you just watched but if you want to have the advanced features and right now grab it on a lifetime deal that link we provided in the description and that's a wrap for zcal